Hello people, this is Iron Man Fan 147 and I am showing you how to make a loading screen in Blender. First off, I just wanted to um say I just got done playing with a couple friends on YouTube or on not YouTube duh, the Xbox and uh I just want you to um know because they want to be recognized, I guess. One other friend that want I don't know if he wants to be or not. I don't know if it's a privacy thing or not, because I haven't asked him. So I'll ask him later, but um, their names that wanted to be known are Dragon Sunday and The Ghost. It's actually T E H Ghost. All right. Well, I'll just said that just to get that out of the way. So I'll show you how to make a loading screen blender. I figured out how to change uh, my default, so this is actually my default right now. But I'll hit New, um, delete all of it, add a plane, make it bigger. Now this. This has no scripts whatsoever, so it's a loading screen without scripts. You're thinking, how do I do this without scripts? Well, it's actually kind of easy. It's not an actual loading screen, like you won't see video, you cannot put video into it, but you can put a picture, you can put a visual in there that will say loading or something, you can put a background, like the Halo 1 game, how when you started up a thing it would just show you a picture of like a Halo ring or something. You can do that. But you cannot put like a little flashing thing that flashes that says loading or not. That that requires scripts. But I don't know how to do that. So I'll, I'll add this plane here. I'll pretty much set up a opening, like a, a menu. Make this black. Okay, so this, I'll change scene to opening. Up here at the top where it says SCE, and then you just click there. Should turn red backspace and put opening. I'll add a new. Scene. I'll do a full copy. I'll just change this. Or I'll just actually add text, and I'll write loading. Can't see that because it's a little dark, black on black. But okay. So I'll pull this up. Hit Alt C, convert font to mesh, and I'll change the color to like a light blue so you can see it. Shadeless. Guess I don't need it because I don't have the light source. But this is what it should look like when you press P. And I'll change this scene to load, like you did with opening, just change this one to load. Add a new one, full copy, get rid of loading, click on your black square, and change it to a red color. Okay, this is all for example. Now, okay, now you're going to change this scene to level. Now, here's the thing. If you do not have enough stuff in your level, you may the loading screen may just flash up on your screen it won't actually stay there because the whole thing is to make your computer lag just a tad you know because if you have a full level it's going to take longer for it to load so you want to be able to actually see your loading screen so i'm just going to sub subdivide it like i had a normal level going just a bunch of stuff in my level so subdivide that about, i don't know i'll go through it once twice three times four times five times six times seven times I did it seven times, that's about, or maybe eight. My computer can, it lags at eight subdivides, but whatever your computer's, so I'll change, I'll leave that level, I'll go to load, right, right click your loading, hit, go to the, it doesn't matter if it's the box or loading, it doesn't really matter because you're only going to be there for a little bit. Logic tab, which is F4, click that, add add and add and you're going to connect all those change no keep always there do not change always and then you're going to change on the actuator's motion to scene and you're going to put restart change restart set scene and the scene will be named level because that's what your level is and uh let's see i'll go to my opening i'll right click the black square and i'll hit add Add and add in your log in your logic tab, and I'll connect those all. Change always to keyboard, whatever you want. Maybe you want it to mouse. I don't know. I'm just putting space in because that's I don't know. And then you're gonna change motion to scene and set scene to load because that's the name of the scene that we. Yeah. No, I'm getting there. That's my grandma. Okay, I'm back. That was just my grandma telling me to go to bed. <laughs> well, uh... Okay, try and hurry up here. That's load, so you have seen to load. Um, so now, if I press P to play on opening, go to opening first. 
see opening and then hit press P and when I hit space you're gonna see a loading screen well you should oh you didn't that's weird Hold on. something going on here yeah it should be load yeah there it is and I see loading when I hit space and then we'll go to the scene the reason for this is because when I have love or and I have opening open when I press um, space it will go to scene load but the scene load is actually the loading screen and the loading screen will always take you to scene level which means that once you hit the loading screen it will automatically try to take you to the level however your level has so much stuff on it that it takes a little bit to load therefore it's looking like a loading screen but it's really not it's just a scene that's getting some lag slightly but it won't it won't exactly harm anything because it's made to do that I mean if you go into a new scene of course it's gonna take a while to load all video games have to load so pretty much that's how you do it and uh, thanks for watching I'll probably upload this a couple minutes alright bye thanks for watching and oh wait I do have a tutorial coming up on a different one I forgot what it was but I had a whole bunch of trouble trying to do it so don't get mad at me Kevin <laughs> uh, so alright see ya